What's going on in there? What's going on YouTube? The Hajibu here. Coming out of Baguio in the Philippines. And I've been here in Baguio for about uh, six months now. Originally, this was the trip from January to June. But the thing is, my flight's been canceled because of this quarantine. And also because of the quarantine, I'm stuck in Baguio. The issue with that is, there's no airport here. And in order for me to get back to the United States, I gotta be able to leave Baguio. So right now I'm actually at the, uh, I'm at the state capital, state capital, province capital. I'm at the city hall in Baguio. And I'm gonna see if I can get some type of meeting with somebody, get some information about at least getting to Manila. That way I'll feel comfortable with buying a plane ticket so I can get back to the United States. You know, none of us knew all this quarantine stuff was gonna happen. And, you know, it put everything on pause. It's kind of inconvenient, but it is what it is. Some type of park here. That's the state capital behind me. Park. I don't know why there's garbage on the ground. Maybe somebody took it all out of that can. But other than that garbage, it's a very nice park. It's like 10 more minutes until, until City Hall opens. I woke up early just to come here because I know a lot, a lot of people have things that they need to ask the government right now. I just want to, I just want to get some answers, you know, so I can know what to do uh, moving forward. It would be, it would be nice to leave the Philippines. You know, I don't have to. I'm not really in a bad position, but I don't like, I don't like being stuck here. In Baguio alone, I've been here for like three months, just in the apartment. And Baguio is nice, but it's not sitting in an apartment for three months nice. The park is beautiful this morning. Looks like the city crest. City of Baguio since 1909. All right, let me go over to this building and see what they have to say to me. Good morning. Magandagumaga. <laughs> All right. You know, the people are nice in the Philippines. Always have something to say. Very easy to talk to. For the most part, they're nice. Yeah. What did I say? The place is not even open yet, and it's already a bunch of people outside lined up. So, looks like I'm going to be getting in line. It's kind of hot too, but got to do what I got to do. So I think I got to wait in this line before I could even let them know that I'm trying to be seen.
Well, I spoke to somebody and got information, but it's not really useful. Uh, basically, they're saying that for me to leave this city, I have to uh, come back with the form. Uh, the form is online. It's a, like a health declaration form. I have to uh, come with the health declaration form and I will be able to leave Baguio. But the thing is, I have to provide my own transportation from here in Baguio, you know, all the way to Manila. So I guess I would have to find some type of private car to be able to go there. I can try, you know, I can try to find somebody with, with their own vehicle who can drive me to Manila and then pay for that as well as paying for the, the airplane ticket. It just seems like kind of a hassle. So right now I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, I, I would like to be able to, you know, go back to the States. My brother, he has his graduation and his birthday, a lot of stuff like that. Yep, yeah, I just don't know what I'm gonna do. It's still really early in the morning and I'm tired, so guess I'm gonna be going home today. <laughs> go ahead and go home, recalibrate, get the, get the logistics together, figure this thing out. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's the update of what's going on with me here in Baguio City. Uh, to be honest, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little bum. It's a little, like bumming. It's a little bit bumming, like feeling bummed out. But it is what it is. Nothing I can't handle. I'll talk to you guys later, man. Peace. Like and subscribe.